They're called voles, and if your yard has tracks of dead grass, you're going to want to listen up. Fox 31 Denver's newest member, Aristea Brady, talked to experts who explain how acting fast could save you thousands of dollars. Springtime, more sun, more green, and more unwanted visitors. All this new growth causes uh, ideal conditions for voles. Voles are a type of field mice. Looks like a cross between a mouse and a gerbil. And there's a good chance they're making themselves comfortable in a neighborhood near you. We get dozens of calls a day. The thought of having hundreds of rodents in your yard is usually disturbing. Blaine Richardson is with Edge Pest Control. As you clear out some of this grass, it kind of helps you see. It's really, they just eat out the roots all along and kill the grass. And if you haven't seen them, there's a good chance they're hiding in your shrubs. They'll girdle along the roots, chewing up the bark, which can kill the shrubs, kill the trees, kill other plants. So how can you tell if it's just a patch of dead grass or if it's damage actually done by voles? Well, the experts say this is just a patch of dead grass, and you can tell when you pull the grass, it still stays intact. Whereas the experts say you can tell this is actually damage done by voles. One, you see the trails, but also these blades of grass pull out very easily. And if voles have made your lawn home? One of the methods that we can do is a bait station like this. A bait inside is placed on metal rods, and it's big enough for the, the voles to go in, eat the bait, take it back down to their nests, share it with their friends. Richardson says voles reproduce quickly, and the destruction can go from bad to worse in no time. Just to reseed or resod a lawn, thousands of dollars. So there's good reason to act fast. Our job is to help you take your lawn back, so that's what we do. That is what they do. They're darn good at it. The cost to treat voles starts right around $500. That's for actually an entire year of treatment. For more information, you can visit KDVR.com. Pretty disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back to town. I'm on the critter beat. That's what we said. Critter crawlers is going to be my new beat in town. So anytime you have critters, email me. Let me know. We've got the answers. We are glad to have you back. You were in Denver for a while. You're from here. From here, back home. Went away for a while. I did. Minneapolis. Which, by the way, little known fact, they have tons of voles there because snow covers the ground, and so they don't even know the voles are there until that snow melts. One of the many reasons I'm glad to be back home in Colorado. I can't stand the voles. Anymore. No, <laughs> it was more than just the bowls. The weather, right? They brought the bowls with you. Didn't I know. You? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you are, and I can't believe you never heard of a bowl. I never heard of a bowl. So, and really? I'm in a fight to have the greenest yard on my block. So if one of those shows up, uh, that's they it. Oh no. Well, I have the number you, for we edge have for you. Those juniper bushes that you had, that you oh, right. your stand up there. That's where they come out and they get in the grass. Yeah. I had the same thing. Tunnels in my yard and everything, uh, and it was under terrible. the snow. Terrible. It was terrible. Yeah. Expensive. So I pushed them over to my neighbor's house. Let you pack a lunch. I'll drive you down to Castle Rock. We'll get you out of the bosom of the. City and we'll introduce you to the critters. Oh. Bring it back to Denver. <laughs> All right. hey, uh